Hello and welcome to another Beer Clipper video. This video shows me painting the ships from the core box of Oak and Iron, which really should have been completed, not just this morning, but probably two or three months ago, because they're very small and they're very easy to paint, but I just shelved the project for so long and then just didn't do it. So I will go back to a very, very long ago beard and show you the start, the middle and the end of the project. And I hope that you enjoy this. I'm really looking forward to getting the game of this as well at some point, and I will try to bring that to the channel when I do. Uh, but now I've got all the ships painted for the core box, at least I can start. So anyway, please enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you again at the end. All right, let's get these, uh these ships assembled. I've just spent quite a confused few minutes looking through, trying to work out which exact ship is actually which type. Because you've got the Petite Frigate, you've got the Brigantine, you've got the Corvette, the Sloop, the Flute, and the Light Galley, and I think I've got it right, but I'm not actually 100% sure, so we'll find out if I've made a mistake. Now, I have seen quite a few people painting this, and they're doing them in batches, so they're doing all of the, um, all of the sails and then all of the uh, hulls and then assembling later and the thing that I'm concerned about is it's hard enough doing this for me certainly while they're in their plastic bags. If I was to spread these out across some kind of uh, across the clamps that I've got from my airbrush um, and then try to paint them all separately I'd, I'd, there'd be just be no chance at all of me ever assembling them correctly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on them one at a time. And I'm going to start with the light galleon first. So let me put these to one side. And what I will be doing is uh, painting each one up separately and individually. Um, and then getting that onto the table. That's my aim anyway with these, with these initial, um, with, the, with the core box. So to look at the light galleon, let's take the pieces out of its little baggie and have a look. It certainly is a good sized bit of kit. I'll zoom that in a little bit. In, not out. There we are. So it certainly is a good sized little ship. Um, and it's gonna look very nice on the tabletop, particularly when it's been painted. Let's get a little bit more light on this as well. There we are, a little bit more light so you can see that better. So that's gonna look very nice. It's gonna need to have a bit of a prime, I think, and a wash, which is what I'll do first off. And then you have these um, the, the, the sails, so you have um, one there, I'm not entirely sure what order they go in, we'll discover that. That one definitely goes at the back, like so. Um, I'm presuming that the big, the big fat bit sticks in the front first. Just a very little wiggle and that's going in fine, so there we are, there's my first sail in. They're nice little bits of kit. And then you've also at the front, you've got the bow sprit. See, there's my nautical knowledge coming out. So to put that together is very, very quick. And I think you could obviously get this to the table just with those, just by putting these in, just with that little wiggle uh, to put it in. But I want to paint these, so I'm not gonna stick these in for, um, yet. And also I am gonna glue these together. So these are gonna be permanently assembled because yeah, I don't know how I plan on tra transporting these anywhere. And what I might do is get another couple of boxes um, eventually and then have some, if I, want to, if I do end up wanting to transport it, I'll just have some that aren't as nicely painted. I want these to look really nice. So the first thing to do is I'm going to prime all of these, including this, even though it does come out of the box good enough, you certainly wouldn't have to paint this, um, I'm gonna paint it. So I'll get myself set up and I will show you what tools I'm gonna to use and I'll get started. So here we have my little kind of painting stand, which I bought from Wish, I think, a while back. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using this as my painting handle. So you can see that I can clamp uh, very nicely even the boat, which doesn't really move very much, that's gonna be enough for me. And then while it's dry, and I can, it can be stood up there and not have to be handled directly. Some of these aren't very good because it's from Wish um, and I need to get back with my tweezers. But some of them, but most of them are actually okay. There we are. So first of all, we will put each of these, clip each of these into one of the little stands. So 
So there we are, we've got each of the separate elements now in our painting handle, which means I can now start to prime. And for my primer, I'm going to be using Vallejo's Surface Primer, which is technically for an airbrush. However, I've always, always done this um, with, with my hairy stick, as they say. And I'm not going to be going to get my airbrush going because I still, as I film this, haven't actually started using it. This would have been a perfect opportunity, but I've not got to it yet. Um, and I need to do a lot more, a bit more playing around. So anyway, heavy stick and there it is. And we have a little bit of water just over here. And I have my little bit of paper towel here. So what I'm going to do is get all of these primed. So I'll stick some music on and we will stick some primer on. Yeah, uh, that's done. So, took me about 15 minutes to prime those. Um, I'm gonna let that all dry now and I might start one of the other smaller ships, which I can do, maybe I'll start the Brigantine or the Sloop because I have one, two, three, four more clamps and I can probably identify that. But I'll do that off camera now because yeah, it's all gonna be the same and I'll be back when I am doing the next stage. I've spent a lot of today looking at the awesome paint jobs that people have done on Facebook for their galleons and brigantines. I'm doing the light galleon and the brigantine. And I'm feeling a little bit um, challenged because I'm certainly not up to those standards. And here I am shooting a YouTube video showing you how to do it. But anyway, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to do start putting some paint on these now these have been primed. The first thing I'm going to do is basically do a light as I light as I can, this is not the nicest of paints as it happens, this wood it needs a good shake, I might even pause the camera in a minute and give it another shake, I might have to, of the wood colour from Model Air uh, 71077. It's actually quite gloopy um, and I think I might need to water it down with some medium, I'm not sure. But I'm going to give it a go just with the wet palette and see what happens. I'm going to pop a little bit more water in my wet palette as well actually. There we are, just a little bit more water and pour a bit down myself, but never mind. It was just a little bit dry, that. So, yeah, so I'm going to use that wood uh, and I'm going to do all of the wood parts. And it's just going to be a base colour. Um, I will be doing more things after this, obviously, um, including old wood and other kind of colours. So let's get some of this out and see what we can do. Let's take that dried paint off the top. There we are. Let's see what we can do with this wood colour on these galleons. I'll pop some music on and hopefully stay in shot most of the time, if I can. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. There we are, that's the Brigantine. What I'll do now, I'm not going to do all of that on camera, that's enough. I'll turn the camera off, make it a bit easier for myself, um, and I'll be back when I've finished doing all of these colours. Back to the painting bench, and what I'm about to paint very quickly for you is the sails. So for this, let me just show you, I'm going to be using Vallejo's Off-White, which you can see there, that is number 70820. Uh, and I'm not going to do this as the final colour, obviously, um, this is just the base colours. But hopefully um, this will be a good starter for 10 on top of my grey primer and it will allow me to then build up a little bit more of a kind of a, a yellowy aged cell look. On some of these I may have missed some bits of the wood which I will discover as I'm painting them which is always a nice thing to do. Don't panic if you make mistakes, just fix them. So you can actually see on this one that I've missed the wood, the wood colour on this side and also the tops 
that goes across. I've no idea what it calls, my nautical language just is, has run out just then. But the spars, is it? The spars that go across the top of each sail? I think that might be right. I've missed painting them. So I'll get them touched up later, but at least I know that that needs to be done. So I'm going to stop recording now because this will be quite boring for you to watch me painting lots of sails white. But you can just see that I'm doing this as a simple coat that may end up getting another coat. And if I do, I'll tell you that as well. Um, and I'll be back when I come to start applying the different colours. So there we are. Vallejo off-white as the initial colour. Oh, and the one other thing, just to say, the uh, general consensus on the Facebook group seems to be that these little areas here, uh, if that's focusing in, uh, between the sail and the spar and the, and the um, just in there, that should be painted the sail colour. So I'm going to be doing that. There we are. Right, I'm going to carry on. Um, pop some a podcast on from out of the frying pan, which I'm really enjoying, and get all of the rest of these painted as well as many of them as I can in the time I have. Next up for the Oak and Iron ships, I'm going to be putting a very, very light grey wash over the sails. So you can see I've got some grey wash um, and I'll be putting the details of that on the screen. Now it is the Vallejo Game Colour Pale Grey 73202. Um, and as you can see, I, this is very, very watered down. I've put, I've added a lot of water to it. And I'm just putting it on um, over all of the sails just to make them not quite so glaring white, uh, give them a little bit more texture. Um, and you can see that I've only done the one coat of white and I'm quite pleased with how that looks because I don't think it should be shiny and clean. It's just gonna be nice and gray and, and a little bit more uh, varied in color. So I'm gonna do that for all of the sails now. Um, just a very, very light, uh, um, a very watered down pale gray wash. So that will not take me very long and I will turn the camera off. There's no point in you watch me do this over and over again. And I'll be back for the next step very, very shortly. With the light grey wash now drying on my um, on my sails, I'm now going to start on the a uh, little bit of a wash, um, again another light wash um, of Magic, otherwise known as Agwitz Earthshade, and I'm just going to put that over all of the ships, all of the actual bodies of the ships. And this is m mainly at the moment to pick out the details, so that when I come back in um, with a little bit more detailed colours, um, I can see a little bit more of the texture. So I don't want it to be too heavy. It's a little bit heavy there as it is. Let me just um, zoom that in slightly actually, so you can see, there we are, it's a bit better. So I'm not gonna do it too heavy. That was a little bit heavy at first, to so take some of that off. Um, and let's do this side so you can see, this one is actually the brig, brigantine. So uh, yeah, just to put a little bit of a shade in, um, and to bring out some of those details and we'll put the back end on as well there we are so that's the uh, the stern I'm going to get my nautical terms right eventually and that's just going to as I say bring out the details so I'm going to go across and I'm going to wash all of them with a light Agrax earth shade like that and let that to dry Next up on these, I'm going to be picking out the steel details. So I've got the sloop here, which has very few, um, and I'm going to just show you where I'm going to be painting. So we have the little, um, let me just get that in focus. We have the little uh, cannons, um, and we have a couple of, that's actually going to be um, not on this one, but on some of them there are some uh, little gratings. So on the sloop, we're just going to do the cannons, and then we have the cannons coming through the sides as well. So it's just going to be a very, very tiny detail on these. So I have my natural steel, which is the paint that I'm going to be using uh, from Vallejo. There we are, that one. I'll pop the details on the screen as I normally do. So give it a good shake. Put it onto my wet palette, which is wonderful. And then let's very, very carefully detail and drop in these details. So I've got a pretty bad brush at the moment. I need to get a better brush out at some point for this, really. Just making sure that I'm staying in shot and not 
obscuring the camera because quite a lot of the time I end up filming something and all you see is the back of my hand or the back of my head. So hopefully now that is going to be good. So we're just dropping in here some little bits of steel. So tiny in this scale that in one sense you're almost just giving the impression of steel rather than worrying too much about accuracy. So those are the, that's the innards done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come along and just dot on around the muzzles like so and then we'll do the other side as well so what I'll do is I'm going to get the rest of these done and I think that's going to be me for tonight I've got my final cup of tea just had a shot and I'm going to sip that and do this and if I get this done before I finish run out of tea then I'll be back for some more process but if not then that'll be me so I will turn the camera off now and get on with the rest of this and I'll be back for the next step, maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow. I've barely dented my tea and already I've finished the four ships that I currently have out. So I'm going to go on to the next step. And the next step is going to be a little bit of detailing. I'm really enjoying these, I'm really enjoying these a lot. So if you look above each of the cannon ports, hopefully you'll be able to see above each of the cannon ports, there is a little... Um, cannon port cover and then there's also these lines here that go along the hull um, and uh, also on top of the, of the sideboard of the of the uh, whatever it's called I'm gonna call it the sideboard whatever on top of what goes around the the rim of the deck and so I'm gonna use uh, German camouflage black brown which is the darkest brown I have which I think is going to be perfect for this uh, so yes it is there but I'll, obviously I'll do my usual thing of putting the details of the paint on the screen. And again, using my rubbish brush, just going to show that even at 1 to 600, you don't need to have the best of tips if you've got okay brush control and well thinned paint. Let's see whether I can do this and keep this in shot again. So we're going to dip some brown on the port covers. There we are. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick out the rest of the details on the sides in the same brown. So this is going to take some time, even on this smallest ship. Because it's very, very fine work. And it's easier to put more paint on than it's going to be to take it off. I might even go and get my magnifying head mask thing for this. So I'll top, pop the camera off because this is going to take a long time um, and I'll be back. Probably this will now take up the rest of my tea, um, but I'll be back with the next step shortly. Let's zoom that in. These really are great little boats, little ships. Very detailed indeed. Love them. There now follows an example of me making a mistake. What happened was I decided to try and paint stripes on each of the sails. And this was a very bad idea which I ended up undoing. But I'm going to show you for the sake of honesty and learning. Um, it just didn't work out. My um, brush skills weren't up to scratch and it was a bad idea whether my brush skills were good enough or not. So yeah, don't do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the stripes that you can see on the card here on these um, on these sails for the sloop and I've got neutral grey here which is Vallejo's 70992 and I'm just going to do one, one on camera because it's really hard to keep in shot um, and I want this to be okay um, to view so what I'm going to do is I've just got the insane detail brush from um, um, army painter sorry I'm also tired I'm very hot you can probably hear the uh, fan in the background it's about 40 degrees today and my paint is drying on my brush which is also an issue so we're just going to draw these lines in as well as we can to give the same impression as we've got on that little card I'll pop some music on I'll only do this one on camera 
and then hopefully this will give a nice kind of effect. I would really like to get this done so I can get a game in because that's why I bought the thing. As much as I love painting, I actually want to play with these. Sorry about my hand getting in the way. It's quite hard. I should probably put the camera on the other side because I'm right-handed. Maybe next time I'll do that, I'll remember. But all we're doing here is just quick swipes to get this effect. It's really drying on my brush a lot, this. Even drying on the on the wet palette. There we are. So that's near enough the effect. Not very good. But I keep saying I'm not really a great painter. I do good enough. I'll show you that you can do good enough. You don't need to panic. Right, so there we are. I will uh, I'll be back when I've finished and show you what they all look like. There's only another couple to do. Been ages since I've looked at this, but I really do need to get these finished. So what I'm doing is I've got off-white from Vallejo and I'm just applying it as a very thin filter over those lines I drew on last time I touched these weeks ago because they're a little bit strong, those lines. And this will just bring it back a little bit. So this is an off-white filter and it just brings it back a bit, makes it slightly less brutal. Take some of those tide marks. I'm just doing that for all of the uh, for all of the sails. So yeah, and then I think probably this first batch of boats will pretty much be done. Uh, it's good to get this done. I've been staring at them every time I come down, down to my painting bench. So I'm just going to quickly get this done now. Now we come to the part of this whole process, which is actually probably the most terrifying, which is trying to stick the sails on because they're not exactly the easiest part to make a to do of this. So I'm not going to film very much of it because it's going to be quite hard for me to uh, show what's going on. But basically, let me do this first one. What there are is in the base of each, or in the top of each of, the, um, of these beautiful ships, we've got holes. And each of the sails has a little nubbin that goes in the hole. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of super glue and then I'm going to push it in there. I'm also going to get a very, very fine file, which I will now reach. Oop. Here we are. And I'm going to just slightly enlarge the hole on this one because it's a little bit tight. And I don't want to break anything. And I think I may just have put a bit of paint or something gotten in the way, which is making this one not want to slip in, as they say. So, a bit of a wiggle, and there we are, you can see that that has now inserted itself into the hole and I will now be able to glue it. So I'm going to go through and do that for the rest of this. These, this is the flute, um, and then over here I have the sloop, the light galleon and the brigantine, which are the ones that I've painted up so far. Um, and yeah, then I think we're done with this project. Oh, it fell out, it definitely needs to be glued. I think we're done with this project. Uh, I'll bring you back when, it's all, when all of these are glued and you can see them. There are a few more f ships for me to make, but I won't bother filming those, the process of those because it'll just be the same. Uh, but I, I have enjoyed it. I, it's been a long time since I looked at this, honestly. Um, so I just want to get it finished and I can want to get a game done. Here I am at my remodeled desk, as you can see. Sam from Mythic Games doing an update. And I'm just going to quickly show you that what I've been working on is a little bit on the uh, sails from my Oakland Iron ships because I really need to get them finished and I was very, very unhappy. So what I've just done is I've put a light wash of off-white over them all and I think I'm going to be happier. So hopefully I can finish this project off. Um, and I also wanted to just quickly show off my, uh, my new desk with a monitor which will mean I'll be able to do more live streams and uh, do get involved a little bit more on the active community. So there we are. So there we are, that's done and I'm really happy with the results. I've got them on my display board here and yeah, very, very pleased. I'm really looking forward to getting these to the table, as I've said, um, and hopefully I'll bring that to the channel, as I've also said. Now, the display board that I'm on was part of a challenge for the terrain uh, table 
Top Crafters United, apologies, um, which is a Discord I'm a member of. Uh, you can see the invite for that in the description below. Um, that build video will be a different video, which I will attempt to remember to link um, in, this in this video when, I, when it's published. Uh, and you can see how I went about making that C. Uh, and it was a really simple technique, um, which I have to shout out to uh, Mark Klim from Sweden, the um, wonderful model railway expert. Um, and I used his uh, paper, uh, toilet paper and glue method. <laughs> so yeah, a good build. Much, took much, much longer than it should have done. Should have been finished months ago, frankly. Uh, but now it's done, I'm going to move on to the other boxes, which I probably will film as well. Um, or at the very least, they'll be in vlogs and you can see the progress. Uh, are you into Oaken Iron? Have you got this? Let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you if this is something that you've done. Um, and if you've painted up the ships and done a different technique, if you had the same trouble as I did on the sails, I'm much happier with them now since I've done the wash on them. Um, and I'll put some pictures at the end of this right after this little chatty section so you can see in detail each of these ships and see what they look like now um, that I've called them done. Though, yeah, they're not as good as I hoped they'd be, but they're certainly sufficient for tabletop quality. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And please stay safe. Stay well and stay healthy.